This evening, we are also pleased to welcome Farm Radio's Board of Directors and staff to our reception. Since 2004, WUSC have been helping Farm Radio International to strengthen its work with African radio broadcasters as they disseminate vital knowledge and information to small-scale farmers and rural communities. I will now turn the podium over to Kevin Perkins, the Executive Director of Farm Radio International, to present this evening's first award. Thank you very much, uh, Diane, and good evening, one and all. My name is Kevin Perkins. I'm the Executive Director of Farm Radio International. And um, some time ago, Farm Radio International created an award in the honor of its founder, George Atkins, uh, the George Atkins Communications Award. And this was created in order to recognize the outstanding contribution of a farm radio broadcaster or producer in Africa to food security and rural development and just making life better for small-scale farmers. <clears throat> so it's my real pleasure tonight to offer the award to Gladson Makoa. Gladson has been writing scripts for us, which we distribute to our network of broadcasters across Africa for quite some number of years, five scripts in total. Recently, he uh, submitted a script in response to a script writing competition that we offered. We had a competition for script writers on the theme of climate change, adaptation for small scale farmers. And uh, Gladson submitted an amazing script called uh, Manure, the Magic Worker. And uh, it was a very good script, so good in fact, not only did it win one of the, not, not only was it one of the winners, but uh, we were able to have it produce an audio format with support from the Food and Agriculture Organization. And it's on our website and you're welcome to listen to it. It's really quite enjoyable, uh, Manure, the Magic Worker. Uh, Gladson has also written um, a news story for us for our Farm Radio Weekly publication. And just more generally, what we really admire and appreciate about Gladson is the service he gives to small-scale farmers in his country. He uh, shows a tremendous amount of respect for farmers in Malawi, serves them selflessly and constantly through his work for Story Workshop, uh, one of the best production houses for radio and community television in Africa, maybe even the world. So I'm really pleased to welcome and thank uh, Gladson and, and congratulate him on winning this uh, award. And just before turning the podium mic over to him, I'll just say that um, uh, Louise Atkins, the daughter of George Atkins, I believe is here, uh, is expecting her, and also Sarah Andrews, uh, George's granddaughter is here. So maybe if they could just quickly come for a moment for, uh, to help present this, uh, do a secondary presentation. Is Louise here? Oh, she's not here yet, but Sarah, just run on up. I, I know I'm breaking with the protocol here, so please forgive me. Thank you. This is the year of wonders to me because I've received two awards this year. Really, it's, it's a dream coming true. I think even to George Atkins, it started as a dream, but now it's a reality. In Africa, we are benefiting from farm radio. We are networking. We have learned quite a lot from other African countries' innovations through the initiative which Farm Radio is helping us. I also thank Helen for linking me to Farm Radio because we met 
at PD Forum, which is also a Canadian network. So the Canada is doing much to me. I thank Canadian people for that good initiative to link Africa to the rest of the world. Thank you. Merci Gladson, merci Louise et merci Kevin.